Good evening and uh, welcome to Head to Toe with Dr. Tebelele. This is another lovely evening. We've got a lovely guest in our studio, uh, Dr. Sandy Magigaba. Uh, is a dermatologist, specialist dermatologist, who qualified from Sefaho Mahato University, the formerly known as Medunsa. In Zalilwane Sepiza, Nageli. Ulapa has been a dermatologist for almost 13 years. Is a fellow of the College of Dermatologists in South Africa. Ubaga we are in London. It means we pepe yes kumba. Is kumba ge usuge lento kwa yona waka ninkulu lengo. Wena mtu ufundega kulu because skin covers almost every part of your body. Iti kavarisa nempembe leyo. Welcome. Now we'll be talking. Uh, about one of the commonest issues as affect our skin, uh, acne, acne, amakha kuva. But Dr. Sandy, welcome mm. to the show. Ngos, ngos uh, how is life under the skin? I feel zama. Skin na so zama, and skin na so we are undergoing the same challenges as skin so. This is Monayo Pante Ata, but otherwise, this is called Nafeza. Thank you so much. Mm. Uh, just for the sake of black children and to inspire them, it's very rare for us to see a black specialist. Mm. Uh, how was metric? Uh, did you move straight from metric to medical school? Or? Yeah. yeah, I did. Uh, I did. At that time, um, it, it was, I don't want to say it was a, a requirement. Uh, you had to you know, while you are still in high school, be focused, know what you want to do, and no field here. So from metric, I moved to a, 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 a Medusa, formerly Medusa, and I did my six years there mm -hmm. of under a, a graduate training. MBCHP. MBCHP. And then from there, obviously, I had to do my internship yes. and uh, my community service upper EPAI, uh, which was one of the most uh, uh, beautiful moments in my life. That is why I'm back here. And then you love the PE, was also a settler coin. Love PE, love the people uh, by. And uh, even when I went back to specialize, I mean, to specialize uh, uh, in skin, uh, 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 Nelson Mandela uh, uh, Medical School in Natal, mm. um, my, my focus was always been. Because there was a need at that time when I did my internship, it was very frustrating because we, di we really didn't have a resident dermatologist. Wonderful. And that's one of the things that made me decide in the Ubana, I need to specialize in dermatology. And uh, have you always been interested in dermatology? Um, or is it something that developed during your, your internship? Uh, you know, during your training, uh, Uzo was now during the undergrad training, you're interested in all sorts of things. <laughs> exactly. Uh, 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 if, if really you're lucky, Uti Upuma, Uzazba, okay, this is what I want to do. But sometimes, and uh, I'm sure in 80% of the cases, once you actually get exposed to in medicine and you practice in medicine, then you find, you know, your passion. You find, either you identify the need, or okay, this is what I think uh, I can work my way through to be a specialist. So I think for me, it was the challenges that I met when I was doing my internship. You know, when I would be, you know, in a, a skin clinic, mm. and we did have a, a, a visiting consultant at that time, but you know, he was not there all the time, and it was quite frustrating for me as an intern, and that's. When I decided, you know, man, I think there's a need for us to have a, 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 a dermatologist, and also there's a need because most of the patients that I was seeing were African patients, mm. and we didn't have enough uh, uh, African dermatologists. And I felt that, you know, I have to uh, 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 close uh, that gap. Close that gap. 
thank you so much. You've done a wonderful thing for South Africa. And even coming back to the province, because mm. uh, the SNK province is not very attractive, especially to professionals. Mm. Once people qualify, they tend to fly away and so on. Yeah. Good that you saw the gap and the need, and you came back to living scene. We yeah. established the dermatology department, yeah. and you are heading. Yeah. Is the head yeah. of department mm. and is producing dermatologists. Yeah. Leaders produce leaders. Yeah. Specialists yeah. produce specialists. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. What is acne? In doing oh. acne. Okay, I acne. You know, I'm actually so happy that it's a topic that you wanted us to discuss about because it's such a prevalent skin condition, the acne. I'm sure in our household we have had a sibling who have got a And that's mm. what acne is. It's a makaguva. Uh, usually on the face or sometimes in the, color in the chest, uh, which are associated with the skin as my oily. That's basically what acne is. And uh, in common, but you can get also no one about Dala, Ababa Ninga, Yamakabufa. This is Pimpao. Uh, anyone can develop a pimple. Mm. Uh, do you label everything that in that little by acne? Okay. With acne, you, you so right because you know you, you get all sorts of things that look like pimples that are not really pimples. But a pimple, when you're talking about a pimple, you're referring to a acne. Uh, with the acne, you get uh, what we call what we, we, we call papanjo, uh, white heads, mm -hmm. uh, e black heads. You know that's what we call comedons in medical terms. Yeah, and these tend to occur that okay on the face and they okay in the background of uh, what we call a uh, seborrhea which is amafuta in skin and ke ayibinga amaxhakuva kuphela kuba khona ke abanye abantu abathi babe nawo namathumba ebusweni eh achiza ubomvu which is one of the grades of, of, of the acne and i think now that you you you've asked about impao there's different grades, obviously, of acne. You get okay. grade one, grade two, grade three. And it is very important to identify that because in the life in young and I, I find uh, with the grade one, you get your normal uh, 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 black heads and white heads. Okay. Uh, and then you, the second grade, which is more uh, severe than the first one, which is grade two, you also get amakaguva uh, angati, uh, which we call pustules. Okay. Together with example of that grade one, and then you can get Gengu grade three. Apo ufumana kona ulama kaguva makul anama tumba, which is a severe form of acne. That's on paoke the acne. Yes, so in doni acne. Okay. I i in pa i acne. Jo ben shilo the city i acne si bona kaguva kubantu ana kabe fikisa. Okay. Uh, one major theory. On, on, on what causes acne is the fact that the acne is uh, the hormones as still as is the androgens. Androgens. Yeah. Just yeah. before you go deeper into androgens, mm. I'm so used to speaking about androgens, especially in the field of uh, sexual health. But let's take a break. Okay. And then we'll see where we're heading with these androgens and okay. acne. Thank you so much, Dr. Makikawa. Take to your screen. We'll be back shortly. Good evening once more. Welcome back. We've got uh, Dr. Sandy Magigamo. is the head of department quad dermatology at Livingston Hospital. Is also practicing privately at Mackendall Hospital after hours, after four. So he's doing both private and public work, but it's mostly public, heading the whole department of skin. So skin issues, I see him. And he's here with us now to discuss uh, what is acne, and we've actually heard about that. You, Ubusati, Kukoin Doctor, the androgens mm. as seven Zangu skin. Can you okay. take us further? Okay, okay. Uh, e, 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 acne is a disease of what we call e sebaceous glands. E sebaceous glands, the Namazala, Atile Alapa, we skin, Akikiza, e oil. Mm. Okay. And as a sebaceous gland, the function yeah, 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 is also regulated by as hormones and these are the androgens. The androgens, yeah, these hormones and uh, the chemicals as still that are produced in the brain that are also produced in what we call the adrenals. 
a quartet in La Palma Prison Space. Okay. So uh, uh, the, the, the production or the activity of a homogeneous during adolescence. So you get high uh, uh, production and uh, also sensitization of AV glands because they are more developed higher uh, during a uh, adolescence. That is, it's a partial glands. In both boys and girls. In both boys and girls. Okay. So because girls also produce androgens, by the way, that is from the cortex. Mm. So now the the, the 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 this sensitivity now causes e oil glands to be larger, and then they produce more oil, which is why you see abandoned uh, acne, abandoned oily skin, which is also why you tend to see it in adolescents. Because that's the stage when the uh, uh, peak of the production of F hormone. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, obviously, there is other causes that are, are implicated with acne. And one uh, being a certain bacteria that we find on the skin, which is a normal common bar. It is a normal bacteria on the skin, but it can actually uh, uh, stimulate the sebaceous glands in La Magdala oil to produce more oil as well. So that's another causative uh, uh, factor with acne. And uh, also, okay, who are not teenagers, they can get acne. And often at times, it's not just the hormone. Sometimes it can be medication by feminicide. For instance, about the anti-TB drugs. A TB. Okay. They can develop the acne, which is not really your normal acne, but it's caused it's by... It's a side effect of the drug. It's a side effect of the drug. Commonly, the prednisone. Prednisone says, it's a you know, and... Uh, hey, you can be a side for COVID. You can be a side Lord. And that can also uh, stimulate uh, uh, oil glands to produce more acne. Even if drugs, the, 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 the epilepsy, nazo, they can cause the acne. So there is acne that can be caused by us, then we acne that, that can, can be caused by stages and yes, so on. Yeah. Is it treatable? Yeah, young acne, because a lot of people are frustrated and mm. find uh, these adolescents, they get stuck on mirrors and mm. uh, people lose self confidence and so on. Is it something mm. that is treatable mm. now that you, you spend a lot of time on mm. it? Mm. No, thank you. That's a very important question. Because we find a lot of parents telling their kids that no man, this stage is not great, was not right, and uh, forgetting the man the consequences if you don't treat the acne. So it should be treated. It is easily treatable. There's various ways of treating. Even before we are born out to Hawako, you know, there's things that you can buy over the counter that we use for treating the acne. There's products. As in as in chemicals, I'm not going to mention any brands, but uh, as in chemicals as far as no benzyl peroxide, mm -hmm. products as uh, 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 chemicals as far as no salicylic acid, as products get, can come in the form of ignozogvasa, soap. Okay. They can come in the form of uh, 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 e creams or e lotions that people use or e gels. You can buy those over the counter. If you are born in the okay, we are we are fixed and we act. Then again, if you are more numb than our for Arabic better, after mm. trying those over the counter, you can then go and see with Dr. Demele and also tip away, okay, so to lag in the pyre, let's then add a treatment. Then Dr. Demele will say, okay, let's add antibiotics, uh, which makes sense because we have said, back on our bacteria yeah. that causes the end. As it comes by. Yeah, they can get the antibiotics. They can also uh, uh, use e vitamin uh, A products, e products which are high in vitamin A. We have found that e vitamin A, one of the things get down an acne, uh, besides it produces a lot of oil, so once my nerve, nerves cause AV, so my blocks so because like of the abnormal uh, lining of AV glands. And e vitamin A, K, or Naga products, they tend to regulate that and they uh, uh, unclog. The pores. So it's very important uh, that you see your doctor to help you with that. And then uh, you'll find that sometimes, uh, especially if you've got grade 3, which is a severe form of acne, which doesn't really respond to your uh, conventional therapy echoing. Well, this is Tengelazo and Sabins. Yeah, born as Sabins. Then uh, you can use a sort of an oral form. 
uh, of uh, vitamin A, which we call isotretinoin. Uh, yes, but it has no side effects. But obviously, if those can be dealt with, it works very well to cure e acne, which is grade 3. In a matumba. As a zindo, Dr. Makikaba, are they supposed to be used in primary health care or we just supposed to diagnose and send to people like you who have okay. specialized on this issue? Okay. Because I don't want people to, to mm. scatter all over. Exactly, exactly. And that is exactly why I had to ban DT breakdown in acne to different grades. Mm. Because, you know, grade one, grade two, you can treat them at the primary health care level. Okay. And then once you fail, uh, because even urban that you refer to the specialist, some of them are actually probably grade two and grade one that have not responded to your conventional therapy. Then you have to refer those Baba Bomesic specialists and then they can put them on a, a other forms of treatment like isotretinoin as I have mentioned. I see, that's very good. Yeah, yeah. And then any complications? Let's say uh, even before we go to complications, and whatever. Mm. Are those things effective? Especially people who grow up in rural areas. Mm. Are those things effective in, mm. in containing acne? Mm. Not really. You know, if you've got uh, acne, full blown grade 2 or grade 3 acne, those things they don't have. We find some of these home remedies, they do have. You know, extracts of the azelaic acid, which I've mentioned as treatment, or extracts of vitamin A. Uh, uh, and that is why Abanya Bandu, they can get some sort of relief, but they don't actually target things like propionic bacterium acnes, which will need the antibiotics. Okay. You know? So they might help control the symptoms like Banama Futa, but they won't actually treat the uh, uh, acne that is grade 2 or above. I'm going to take you through the issue of diet and acne, but let's take a little break. We need a little sip of water. Don't go away from your skin. I mean, from your screen. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, and mm -hmm. skin. we'll be back shortly. This is a nice educational lesson from Dr. Sandy, a dermatologist who is a specialist, is here with us. See you soon. Welcome back to Head to Toe with Dr. T. We've got to Dr. Sandy Makikaba, a specialist dermatologist at Livingston Hospital, is the head of department there, and is also an after four at Mackendall Hospital, also dealing with skin issues. But is here with us now to educate us on acne, various types of acne, treatment, and complications. Talking about complications, what are the complications of acne that is left untreated? Mm, mm. Okay, there is uh, quite a few uh, complications uh, of the acne. And one of them, you know, when these uh, pimples heal, mm. they can heal with spots of pigmentation. So you can get uh, uh, dark spots on the face. That's one of the complications. Abanya uh, Abandu, they can have uneven skin tones where they get you know, continuous shades of normal skin or hyperpigmented skin on the face. Um, and Abanya Abandu, you know, especially with the grade 3 acne where you've got those nodules and those uh, amatumba that I mentioned, they can develop uh, ice peak scarring where on the skin. Those are the main complications of acne. But the most important one which we don't talk about is that of uh, the psychological impact of yeah. acne. You know, remember, I'm going to talk acne, trouble with stage, there's born, and all of a sudden they've got these things developing on their face, so they can uh, uh, um, have, you know, psychological dis disturbances. Some they can even be depressed. So depression is one of the major complications of acne, one of the reasons why we encourage uh, parents to seek treatment if they've got abandoned abandonment because it affects abandonment. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, especially in adolescence, yeah. I mean, uh, that is when people start spending time on mirrors, exactly. squeezing them. Is it, is it a good practice to squeeze pimples and so on Not when, really, when no. you see that they've got pus? Not really, because that can worsen actually the scarring. 
you know, if you keep on squeezing them, squeezing them, we discourage that in place of self-control technique. Because the scars can become worse than they were going to be if you just leave them. You know, so it's not an, an, an encouraged practice to squeeze and chill off. Kuto mazinga watu mzamat kago. Utla mbagai five or guy six, does it help? Because you said there's clogging of the sebaceous glands and the pores and so on. It doesn't really uh, uh, make any difference. We encourage our mashamba gabini genin. Okay. Uklamba gafulu and uh, you know most of the time the mazo shamba gamiti because baba dry they feel dry after they 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 say they say whatever product that they are using, but you must also. Uh, remember that you want a well moisturized skin so you can't you know have it dry skin or go go the whole day we don't really encourage that as well wonderful yeah. and uh, in, I'm, I'm more in the field of uh, sexual medicine mm. and one of the benefits that i usually get of sex is say how 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 true is that the issue of sexual activity does it benefit any skin benefits from no. Being diligent in bed. No, I, I, I think that's a myth. <laughs> I don't think uh, 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 it has got any relation or any bearing. Uh, so I wouldn't really go out there and encourage people to be sexually active just so that they get rid of their acne. Otherwise, we'll see a lot of sexual activity because I was not afford an alone meet so much. At least we can go and seven things and they will right. Thank you. Mm. Then kube kunde atum to ute acne bakona not only epsweni, mm. ibakonem zimbeni, bakonem kolo and so on. Those are the common areas. Mm. Then kube kwabanda bati dinom dinom kwali so on dinen twala ze aku. Is there any association mm. between uban and twala ze aku, no banum kwali so no ne acne? In twala ze aku you're talking about the paras uh, paras pubis, yeah. yeah. Paras pubis and mm, there's no association. With acne, that's a different, you know, uh, 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 aspect altogether. I'm going to call it so acne. It's basically what we explained earlier on, that it's this physiological process where your oil glands are enlarged and they're hyper functioning. It has nothing to do with any other uh, 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 sort of myths that people would would say. Thank you so much because uh, at Apile Communications we deal with a lot of myths and the Abanba says mm -hmm. Laleni. I think it's good that Sibe Nani beg to tell about uh uh, Lendo Enzoile, Le Enzoile. We quiz in versus Jayo, diet. The people sometimes talk about chocolates and so on. Can you comment on diet and, and, and the issue of acne? Look, you know, with the diet and acne, it's a very controversial. Uh, topic okay because there hasn't been any direct really association we've had uh, you know anecdotal studies where people say okay if you take high calorie diet if you take uh, uh, your chocolates and you know uh, uh, and so forth you might develop uh, acne. Uh, yeah. there hasn't been a, a scientific uh, proof that really does as some people have written articles but it's very difficult to explain scientifically how diet would affect acne. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Makikaba. And uh, we've had civil and over e amakagova, nova sepsueni, nova lapa es fubeni, okanye emkolo, ana gukwenza u pele logus temba, ana gukwenza u lose a self esteem and self confidence. We and get e part of life in the developer guao, kobaguti, ukralum kulu. Uko i pause mimi mwenye lapa kuskumbeni, e kupa ingendi yeti le sometimes ya bloke kala mimi mwenye, but uti na ngo kwa lega ingendo basi slab taba sasa slamba gai ten, ngo slamba nje kabini, zikoni ndo as advisor au kazi tabi sana ndo basi ngo slamba ngazo, uzama ndo basi skin la mimi mwenye asla ichele vulekil. The issue of shaving, uh, I'm gonna make an example about me. Do we make acne worse? the way we shave, or is there any way that we can improve? Okay. Shaving, not really, it doesn't make acne worse. But I think that the, the condition that we tend to see in people who shave, especially people who close shave, is a condition that is called pseudo-folliculitis barbi, which is what we call shave bumps. Okay. When you look at them, they look like acne. Yeah. They're not really acne. They have nothing to do with acne. Thank you. But maybe sometimes, 
you know, because there's certain products, products that are I, that, that have uh, uh, that are oily, you know, products that have uh, parabens or you know which one might use when they are shaving, those can aggravate acne. But it's not really the act of shaving that makes one develop acne. Thank you so much. Mm. I'll now I've learned a lesson on how to <laughs> shave. Uh, thank you very much to all our viewers. This brings us to the end of our session for tonight. Acne vulgaris, the stages, what causes it, what we need to do, treatment, complications if it's left untreated. Mm -hmm. They do not only end with skin, but they can also end up with depression. And some people can even commit suicide. Mm -hmm. That is why we need to take care of it. Thank you so much, Dr. Makikawa. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you very much for being with us. We hope everyone has learned. Follow us. On Apile Communications, that's our Facebook page, and follow us on YouTube, Apile Communications, and Pumakaba TV every Thursday at 9 p.m. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.